My name is Ronaldo. I'm Italian. I came in this country in 1962. I devote my life for the musician. I did the best I can to please them which they can play more easy and more, is more convenient for them to play. Was back in my day, we didn't have guitar techs. We, when you were on the road, you had to be your own tech. You had to, you had to get it going. You know, there wasn't a Ronaldo or Landoni in every city that I, I went to. I remember one day going in to his little, his shop, it was so wholesome. And I remember thinking, wow, this is the machine behind heaven. Been together since 1984. The Doc is a great musician, great guitar player. He want to learn. I told him, if you want to learn, you come here. You got to do what I tell you to do. Make sure the neck is nice and straight. The frets is nice and even. And from then, you put the string on. When you put the string on, you tune it and you recheck the neck because when you tune it, the pressure goes on the neck again. Meeting Ronaldo, we, we hit it off immediately as humans. He's probably the most beautiful human on the planet. I would always get out of school earlier to get to the shop maybe at least an hour before my shift. So I would just be hanging out with Ronaldo, you know, talking and, and working on guitars and he would teach me you know the very basics of setting up a neck and you know adjusting the string. We came after Fender, Leo Fender or Gibson. We all learned from that. These are all Ronaldo custom builds behind me. Because a lot of company they got CNC machinery. They don't even touch the wood. They just sit on the side, set up the machine and the machine works. Years ago, the CNC machine was uh, the two hands. I had a lot of group. I had Peter Franto here, Johnny Winter, Billy Squire, Charlie Daniels. Francis in Nazareth, from uh, Engla, I used to take care of that. From the factory, sometimes they don't use, like years ago, they used to use a cure wood. They used to cure the wood for three years. Now, they kill dry. When you kill dry, you never, the wood never a dry, 100%. Over there, there is a lot of those mango. Mango, uh, mahogany, a core. Mango, here's the mango looks Look, like. That's a mango. I did a lot of guitar with the mango. Mango is a wood that comes from Hawaii. You hear the sound? It's a complete different, man. You hear? You see go down? They change you know? because we deal with the customer and we know more or less what the customer wants. So I can check this. Nice. Yeah. What year is that? Uh, 78. To be with Ronaldo is not work, it's an experience. It's every day is a journey, you know. It's like, yes, I've learned everything I know pretty much from him, but has he shown me everything he knows? Probably not at this stage. You gotta make sure the pickup, it's even. Not one high, one low. It's gonna be even because when you switch between one pickup and another one, you know one the sound of bounce up and down, up and down. I used to work till two, three o'clock at night sometimes because you know I build them up by myself. We do have a spray booth here for touch-up stuff. You know that's what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know having that kind of. Uh 
encouragement and you know that open-mindedness from such a, a person is just so inspiring and, and it keeps you motivated. I raised my daughter on his advice. She's in law school. I mean, I think we did pretty good. If I have to start again, I do the same thing because I love it. He doesn't like to brag, but that's him. Goalie on the Italian national soccer team, okay? That's pretty badass. I'm still doing, and you can see, yeah, we build them up a gallery, everything. International, you play, you, you turn it open. When you turn it open, and then you press it down on the 12 frets, it's gotta be the sound the same. Because sometimes it can be sharp, it can be flat. And then you adjust the bridge here. You going up, if it's a sharp, down is a flat. Then we try to make one is a vanilla up there, see?